found that 75 of 7 billion people in the world. You have no idea how special this day is that we have an astronaut right here. What do you miss most and what do you miss least about being in outer space? Oh, weightlessness is way cool. People don't think about this, but when you go to space and there's no gravity, you know, if we get older, our body sags, there's no sagging in space. Everything is, you know, my, you know, I look like I was 20, my body did, you know, because, it, you know, you don't have that in space. I miss that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, your body recuperates faster. You're not under the pull of gravity. So if I work out really hard, by the next day, I'm ready to go again. I'm not sore. My oh. joints aren't under constant pressure, like like here, you know, under gravitational pull. So I miss that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, another oh. thing, metabolism. My metabolism was so much higher. I had to eat almost 3,500 calories a day, not to lose weight. Wow. I miss that. I love to eat. Mm -hmm. I can't eat like that down here. So, but up there, I, I ate and ate and ate and ate and still ate and was fine. So mm -hmm. I miss that. Okay. Yeah. What, how that was a good question. Me? What do you miss least about being in space? Is there anything you don't miss? Well, you know, you only you know you're going for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. So I didn't miss my family because that's fruitless. There's no reason to go to space and fret over not being with your family. Mm -hmm. You know you're going. You set that mental block. You, you train your kids and and you set it and you go and you do it. So you don't fret that. So I don't. I didn't fret being away. I didn't <laughs> fret. I didn't. I wasn't sad that I couldn't have a hamburger. Mm -hmm. We don't have hamburgers in space, but you know it's a limited amount of time, and I knew that, so I just enjoyed the experience. So there really wasn't anything that that I. For you, is there a possibility that the hollow Earth theory is real? Hollow Earth. I yeah, like having was. a whole other world beneath our own. Ah, <laughs> I would be very skeptical to that. No. You know, this big one that's been out recently is a flat Earth. And I, oh yeah, I can guarantee cool. you that the Earth is not flat. Mm -hmm. It is round. The mm -hmm. physics associated with how we fly in space would not work with a flat Earth. So, trust me, it's round. Do you believe in God and that the universe and everything in it is His creation? Or do you believe more of the scientific theories like the Big Bang Theory? Are you more of a science or a religious person? Why can't I be both? So, you're like a combination of both? Well, I have studied evolution. Mm -hmm. Evolution has so many holes in it. I mean, if, if I could just, I could describe to you the human reproductive process and how it works, and it's impossible for a man and a woman to evolve how they would have to do and meet in time somewhere and produce offspring. It's impossible. So, no, I don't believe in evolution. Evolution is, is a lie. It is false. And I do believe the Bible, because the Bible is true. There is no science that does not involve theory, hypothesis, or assumption. And that's what theoretical science is. It has to it has to make assumptions on things because there's no way to prove it. There's no science that doesn't involve one of those three that contradicts the Bible. Okay. None. You can, I challenge you to prove me wrong. They, there's none. Mm -hmm. Now, that's why I said physics. Physics is not theoretical science, most of it, where I'm talking about orbital mechanics and those type of things, that's just basic science. There's no theory involved. It is what it is. Theoretical science includes assumptions, hypothesis, and theory. And, and, and there's no science that contradicts the Bible, and I don't think there ever will be. As we get smarter, and a lot of those theories and assumptions, because we don't know the answers to, if we ever get those answers, they won't contradict the Bible because the Bible is true. really creepy and it's really not true so yeah so I don't know I don't know who or why but yeah I've heard it I've had people ask me when I've spoken before to tell me the details I'm like there are no details because it's not true so yeah <laughs> that was when I was on station somebody sent that to me I was like who in the world got wasting their time making up phony stories like that it's way way cool <laughs> way way cool take note <laughs>
You expel it. Uh huh. You process the expo what you expel, oh, right? And you break it tomorrow. So we're talking about recycling. Recycling, exactly. But then you're the recycler. We're recycling our urine. Yes, exactly right. I'm so glad we're done with our lunch. Thank you so much for that.